And I do prefer it slightly than the old wick. I don't know them. Andrew right. trying to get his girlfriend back. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome to another special food court edition of Fung Bros Food. So we just did Costco, we just did Sam's Club, and because you guys asked for it, now we're doing Ikea. Ikea. Yes, we are talking about Ikea, everybody's favorite Swedish furniture manufacturer. If you don't know how to design like your new spot, just go to Ikea and just get some ideas. Everybody knows that Ikea is known for like moms and lax and like easily put together furniture. Garben Neuvens. Garshkels. The food court at Ikea is very interesting because it's Swedish. But there is two parts to Ikea's food. One, there is the restaurant that is actually there pretty much close to the entrance right when you walk in. And towards the end, there is the exit cafe, AKA the bistro right before you leave. And that has all your hot dogs, pizza, cinnamon rolls, and sodas. Back in college, I worked at Ikea. I worked at the bistro at the oh, end. Oh. I, I was making coffee, I was putting the grinder in. IKEA Food Court Review, let's go! Alright everybody, thank you so much for clicking on that video. That video is sponsored by Squarespace and definitely check them out if you are thinking about creating your website soon. They're clean, cool, easy to use, intuitive, and there is no coding required. So definitely check the link down below to get 10% off your first domain purchase. Now you can enjoy the rest of this video. Boom! All right, everybody, the first dish that we have to review, Ikea Swedish meatballs. And they are coming in two forms. They have the pork Swedish meatballs, which are the classic ones, and then they have these new veggie ones. So the Swedish meatballs coming in at $4.99 and the veggie meatballs coming in at $3.99. They look like they're made out of meat. Let's go with the classic. 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 What, with the lingonberry sauce? The lingonberry is essentially like the Swedish cranberry. All right, so we're gonna eat the Swedish meatball with the gravy and no lingonberry sauce, all right? Ikea, Ikea Swedish, Swedish meatballs. meatballs. The way it broke down was pretty good because you feel like you taste the gravy and then it starts to break down more into the meats. So these are beef and pork. They wanna, they wanna make all the vegans mad. <laughs> so we gotta try one with the, uh, with the lingonberry. All right. Oh, this looks like popping pearls. Oh, lingonberry. lingonberry. With the lingonberry sauce, would you put it over just the gravy? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I, wouldn't. Wow. I would say go light on the lingonberry. Vegetarian, Vegetarian Swedish meatball. meatball. It was a little more mushy, but I felt the outside, they really cooked it together on the outside. I, I don't want to be a negative Nancy, but I did not really like that one. But you can't stop Debbie Downer. Okay, I will say, Nelson, you are not the biggest fan of vegetarian food, period. No, I'm not. But I don't want any damn vegetables. When I bit into it, it just like, you know, mushed all into mm -hmm. like, you know, together. I eat no, vegetables like on its side and by itself and stuff, but I guess mix, all mixed together like that, grind it up and stuff. Ooh. Yo, I gotta say, man, that has a lot of flavor. I do like the pork and beef Swedish meatballs overall better, but this in a way does have more flavor because it has more seasoning. My ranking on the IKEA Swedish meatball, 3.5 out of 5. Oh. And then on the vegetarian one, also a 3.5 out of 5. I would give the, the regular meatballs 4 out of 5. Four. And then for those, what are those? I'll give it a 2.5 out of 5. <laughs> I'm gonna actually give the Swedish meatballs a four out of five. Vegetarian, I'm gonna also give it a four out of five. Can we point out the quinoa? Oh, ooh, oh, geez. quinoa! Ah! Well, you know what? If you know, if you don't like vegetarian food, no, you're not gonna like the quinoa. So, how the quinoa? <laughs> that's gonna help you jump higher, though. No, that's good. That's not bad. Yeah, I like it. Do you like it even better than the meatballs? I do. Really? I do. Is it? You don't <laughs> like the fake meat. You yeah. don't like the, the the vegetarian meat that's faking the funk. I gotta wash down some of this stuff with some drinks. I'll get the apple and jorgub. Jorgub, I believe, is strawberry. Drink parun. I'm 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 thinking that means pear drink. It's not like that. Apples though, when you first read it though. Appleson. Yeah, but it's actually orange. Appleson sounds like a last name. Yeah. Yo, I have this smoothie, blah bar, and halon. Cheers, guys. I was gonna hey. say, are these organic? And I read the box that said organic. <laughs> Man, this is a smoothie blend. This is 100% juice, but I definitely feel like without it being cold, it um, doesn't taste that good. Oh, good enough! Unique though. Here we have some items from the IKEA Bistro. Andrew, can we trust you to give an unbiased review of the Bistro? Not on that team anymore, man. <laughs> I, I switched to H&M, another Swedish company. You might as well move to Sweden. And let's go into the pizza first because we've been reviewing pizza at Sam's Club and Costco so much. It's just one flavor, cheese? Just cheese. Cheese. They keep it simple. Ikea's pizza coming in at $1.75. Ikea, Ikea cheese, cheese pizza. pizza. 
crust is really thick, it's but like it's very hard. light on the bottom. You know, yeah, they don't have the little bubbles. Is. Flavor-wise, not bad. Definitely kind of tastes just like a cheese stick. You know, it doesn't have that much flavor to it. It has too much breading compared to like the topping. Hey, don't go to Ikea for the pizza. 2.5 out of 5. Yeah, 2.5 out of 5. I give it a three out of five. They recently introduced the vegetarian hot dog. We've got the IKEA hot dogs coming in at 75 cents, both for the meat and the vegetarian version. Vegetarian, vegetarian hot dog. I said it has like a lot of ginger. It has a lot of vegetable flavor. I mean, tastes like a little Asian. Little ginger, ginger made it Asian. Yeah. No, I'm not mad at this. Wow. I wouldn't say I would eat it over a regular meat hot dog, but if you give it to me, I would eat it. Whoa. They even have fried onions on it too. Look at all the coloring in this. So that was. Pickled red cabbage, you have uh, fried onions, you have a sweet mustard. You know, apparently uh, Ikea sold a million of those in the first month. <laughs> that was way better than the vegetarian meatball. All right, let's try the Ikea hot dogs here. Oh, so as you guys Chef. can see, I love how the hot dog is sticking out beyond the bun. That means you're getting a good deal. They just give you mustard and ketchup. They don't deal with all the relish and the onions. They just try to keep it simple for you. I actually enjoyed that a little bit better than the Sam's Club hot dog. 3.5 out of 5. I mean, price taken in consideration, I mean, I can see 3.5 out of 5. I gave it 3 out of 5. I felt like the bread wasn't as good. It's not like thick, but it, it's very dry, very airy. Okay. But the hot dog wiener was pretty tasty. Though. All right, guys, real quick. I, I'm going to try it with the uh, red cabbage and fried onions from the vegetarian dog left over. Let's see how this tastes. A little bit better. It's pretty good. Better. Bias. Bias. <laughs> I was no, for the, I think for the vegetarian hot dog, it's 75 cents. I got to go with. 4.5 out of 5. Wow. Wow. Yeah. 4.5 out of 5? That's high. I was going to give it slightly better than the actual this hot dog. I was going to say 3.5 out of 5. Okay. All right. I'm going to stay with a 4 out of 5 for the vegetarian dog. Pretty good. I have a hard time giving it 4.5. I will say this, guys. Low key, the vegetarian stuff that they have at IKEA is maybe the most flavorful. Here we have the turkey breast medallions coming in at $6.99. The beef tenderloin coming in at $8.99, and then the salmon fish filet coming in at $6.99. But I never thought I'd be at IKEA cutting a piece of meat like it was. Ooh, that's that, not, big. Hey, you don't get this at your normal food court. Hold on. Hey, that beef shredded pretty nicely, man. Turkey medallion, beef tenderloin, salmon filet. Lay. <laughs> My favorite was the salmon. My favorite was the salmon as well. I'm rolling with the salmon. That was the most delicious. That was super delicious. good. That was super soft. Yeah. It was with the hollandaise sauce. My next up goes the beef. Yeah. Okay. And then lastly, which it wasn't bad, was the turkey medallion. It's real turkey, but it's definitely chopped up and packed together into a patty. It's almost like a turkey patty, yeah. This had actually a lot of good flavoring, but you know, it was very dry. This was very, very soft, very tender, but it was lacking in flavor. I'm going with 4.5 on the salmon, 3.53. For $7, you cannot go wrong. This is a 4.5. I'm gonna roll with a four. Mm. And then this one, big jump down to the three. Four on the salmon. And then we're gonna go with a <laughs> 3.5 and a three. Yo, I'm feeling this cauliflower cake. Dude. 4.5 on the salmon plate, holistically. <laughs> Holistic score, 4.5 on because the salmon it, plate. Because it gives you the cake too. Yeah, because you got the cake. Guys, the cake. that hollandaise sauce is killing that dish. Growing up in Seattle, actually, there's actually a lot of Scandinavian slash Nordic people and they eat a lot of salmon out to there too. And that's why we grew up eating a lot of salmon. We got, first off, chicken tenders coming in at $6.99. Chicken, chicken tenders. tenders. Wow. It does need a sauce because it, it kind of dry, but flavor-wise, not bad. I'd say the outside is still crispy. 3.5 out of five. I'm rolling with 3.5 out of five. I thought it was three. After that though, how dry that was. That chicken was dry, real dry. I gotta go in on the, on another drink. The Drick Flather. Oh, I got the apple strawberry. Drick Lingen. Mine is elderflower. So here's the thing about lingonberry juice. It's like cranberry juice, except even less tart. You know, you drink that ocean spray cranberry juice, you kind of like your mouth makes this face afterwards, like. But this oh. one, it doesn't. This really legit tastes like a smoothie. It's actually like a legit smoothie in there. Yeah. You have this raspberry flavored Drick Helen. Tastes like vitamin water. Whoa. This is Sweetened. actually pretty good, man. You wanna try this? It kinda yeah. tastes like chrysanthemum. Yeah. It has the floral taste, kinda like chrysanthemum. Uh, similar, si similar, similar. In the beninging. In the bini, in the beninging. Similar to chrysanthemum, but this is a, I think it's a little more sweet. Good. Yeah, no, yeah. shout out to the Drick Flader. To the I might say to the that's the best flavor. drink. Flader. We got the salmon wrap right here. Oh, guys, okay, get, let me just show you the smoked salmon. So this one, as you can see, it has mixed greens. It has some sweet mustard. Dill in it. 
Ikea, Ikea salmon, salmon wrap, wrap. three ninety nine. Let's do this. I don't, I don't know about the wrap, man. What do you feel? I feel like some of those mixed greens are getting in the way. They're kind of making it bitter. I thought it was a 3.5 out of 5. The salmon by itself is like a 4 out of 5, and then everything else to me was like a 2 out of 5, so averaging that, 3 out of 5. I'm going to give it a 2.5 out of 5. Wow. I feel like, to me, my favorite part of it was actually the tortilla wrap. The salmon, I felt like it could be smoked a little more. This is a uh, comfort food favorite of America, mac and cheese, $1.99. Almost like a creamy Alfredo yep, yep, of yep. mac and cheese. But tell me you didn't get a little bit of that sharp cheddar feeling though. Smooth, but sharp. Hey, how you doing? 3.5, 3.5. Okay, really that's, I'll take that, I like it. I like it, I'm biased. I'm biased. I'm biased. Well, if you say five, I'm gonna slap you, bro. <laughs> well, you better get ready to slap me right there. Uh, <laughs> four out of five. Four out of five. Four okay. out of five. Okay. <laughs> solid, solid. I gotta go. I gotta go three five. Okay, three, three five. Right, I was fair. thinking about that's it. Fair. I think. Had there been maybe like some of the baked oven crust? Yeah, I felt like it was missing something. If it had like maybe one more like item in there, I would have sprinkled some of those fried onions on top. The Swedish meatballs in in the mac and cheese. Oh, yeah, that's I'm interesting. Saying, yeah. We have finished with the hot foods, and now we are on to dessert. We have the delicious cinnamon buns at a dollar each. I don't connect with these cinnamon buns as much. They used to look more gooey, right? Yeah. These don't look like the Princess Leia's. That's looking like you know, a know, the UFO Princess Leia's. right here, dude. They, they don't look the same. It's almost like I don't know them. Man, you make it sound like that's your first time girlfriend or something. <laughs> she like, tell me I'm pretty! Tell me I'm pretty! Tell me I'm pretty! Nelson. I wouldn't say got worse or got better. Man, they're quite soft. Doink. Ikea, Ikea cinnamon, cinnamon rolls. rolls. I think your first time girlfriend got better. She glowed she up. She blossomed. Look at that. That's so soft, man. That is looking like a chocolate croissant. Oh. Let me say this. Overall, I do think it's better than the old cinnamon mm -hmm. bun. There's like heavy gooiness, but heavy dryness. And that sort of juxtaposition, the contrast is too stark for me. It's an interesting take. I can't say that it's better or worse. I, I maybe prefer actually the old way. I'm gonna give it a four out of five because I was not expecting it to taste good based off how it looked. And also, it's a dollar. But I gotta go with four for a dollar. I mean, a dollar. Yeah, guys, you take in price and consideration, give it a four out of five. Four out of five. And I do prefer it slightly than the old one. Andrew right. trying to get his girlfriend back. I see you. You can call, call it Cinna Bay. All right, oh. guys. This is, hey, now you didn't make a comment about how tiny the slice is. I was about to say, who ate the brownie already? They're very dense, though. The gooey brownie, 150. 4.5 out of 5. Yeah. 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 Right, man. It just tastes good. The texture was, you know, perfect for me. Nice and gooey, soft. Does it justify how small it is? It does. For 150? All right, I take it, I take for it. For 150, size doesn't matter. Nice. Five out of five. Whoa! Whoa! Is that the first five in the series? Is that the first ever five in the series? I don't think we ever gave a five. No, did you give the churros, the Costco churros five? We did. Yeah, I can't believe you gave Costco churros five. 4.5 out of five. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Dude, I gotta cut out. I gotta cut out the sweets a little bit because I'm trying to get that dunk package. But I would eat that again. Nelson's life does revolve around dunking, guys. If you have any suggestions on dunkable foods, super duper deep dunk. Mm. Let us know in the comments down below. All right, man. We'll do a dunk package video sometime. It, it is pie. a holiday season. Pumpkin pie, one ninety nine. I felt like it was too mushy. I wish the crust was a little harder. I give it a 2.5 out of 5. This pumpkin pie filling is good. Give it a 3.5 out of 5. I'm actually at 3.25 again. That means three, guys. Yeah. These last two are touted as probably the top cakes at Ikea. One lingonberry nine, cheesecake, yeah. 2 dollars I, I feel like the lingonberry adds a good taste to it. I will give it 3.5 out of 5. 3.5 out of 5? 3.5 out of 5, yeah. I'm with you guys on 3.5 out of 5. Okay. Solid. It was system. solid, but not great. There we got the chocolate cake. You know what I like about this chocolate cake? It looks like every bite is good. You got the cake, you got the frosting, you got the filling. The $2.99 chocolate cake from Ikea. You got Four like out of five. Four out of five, that was good. That was a really big bite. I have to really, yeah, I thought the good. regular chocolate cake was a four out of five. So, real quick guys, what was your favorite thing and what are your takeaways? And don't everybody say the salmon because we know the salmon was good though. Well then let me say the salmon. I thought I was just impressed by how soft the filet was. The classic meatballs. I liked it without the lingonberry. The vegetarian hot dog. Oh. I love pickled cabbage. I thought the, the sweet mustard was nice. Elderflower drink. 
Elderflower oh, drink. Oh, the elderflower yeah, drink, yeah. Okay, so we all decided that the best dessert was obviously the gooey brownie. Basically, I think stuff like Ikea, Ikea being a furniture store, and they have very decent foods. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, that does it for the Ikea restaurant and bistro review. I know that we did not get to every single item. Uh, may we may in a later video, but make sure you let us know what other things you'd like us to review in the comment section below. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching that episode of Fun Bros Food, Ikea Food Court Edition. One, in the comment section below, let us know what you think about Ikea food and if there are any unique foods at your local Ikea that they serve. And number two, make sure you let us know what is the next food court you would like to see us review. Definitely, please subscribe to our channel, subscribe to Nelson's channel, turn on your notifications, like this video, and everybody, until next time, we out. Peace. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching that video. Please give it a big thumbs up and definitely don't forget to check out Squarespace at the link down below because I know you heard of them, but have you tried them? Especially with the new year just around the corner, I know it's a perfect time to get started on your side hustle that you've always been meaning to get to. I personally love how easy Squarespace is because uh, having our own website has been super crucial to uh, being legit, something that people can reach out to, something that people can go to. We're actually thinking about starting a new website and a new brand soon, and I can't really tell you exactly what that is, but let's just say that we might be using the magazine template. If you browse through Squarespace, you can actually tell they have tons of beautiful, award-winning website templates to choose from that can really help your business, your goal, your blog, or whatever it is. You can get your own domain, there's powerful editing tools, it's intuitive, it's clean, it's easy, it's Squarespace. Check out the link down below when you're ready because you can get 10% off of your first purchase of a website domain if you just go to squarespace.com slash phone bros. Definitely check it out. No credit card required, no coding required. Man, it's too easy. All right, everybody, check them out. Thank you, Squarespace. And until next time, I'm out. Peace. I like the uh, dingleberry. Dingleberry. <laughs> dingleberry is what you call somebody at recess that you don't like. Call him a dingleberry. You dingleberry. Dingleberry.